and welcome back. This is John Q. Daily Public, and I have just woken up for the, my second night in the zone here. I am uh, eating myself some rancid protein to get me from a red hunger down to a gray hunger. Um, it looks to be there's some activity outside, and uh, I'm going to take all here. Let's see what I got and see what I'm going to leave behind. Leave this behind. Leave that behind, leave that behind, that behind, that behind, that behind. I'm gonna leave one of those behind. I think I'm gonna leave that behind too. I'm not gonna be doing any thing I'm gonna need though, that stuff for. So you can see I earned 28,597 rubles for my activity. Uh, first night in the zone. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm coming back a little bit, an hour earlier than I think the sun goes down completely. Um, I'm pretty sure it goes down at about 2100 hours. Um, so I'm up a little early so I can do some shopping here and see what we got here. So trade. I need something for this gun right here. I need a scope and I need your ammunition. I don't like purchasing ammunition for something that I'm going to throw away, but um, I'm going to be most likely needing to have uh, this ASAP. Our first thing that we're going to be pushing to get is going to be a helmet and a radiate or an artifact box so that's going to be number one priority is getting that because then we'll get night vision and we'll also be able to complete the quest for beard and start that um, okay start that um, let's go make sure our guns are loaded I would show you what the plan of the attack is right now for the night, but we're going to set this to single, but I don't have a map to show you. Uh, that's ready there, so I got seven, 18 bullets for that, and reload this. This is just last ditch if I have nothing else. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save here. And let's run outside and see what it looks like. It looks like it might be raining and thundering. That's not too bad out here. Um I think what I'm gonna focus on today is I'm gonna go and up here and uh, get the first card and tool set, take care of any bandits that are up in this area, um, and get the, on the way back, stop and get the remaining, um, remaining, uh, stashes over there on that. Climbing up this hill, it is still, uh, yep, 2100. I'm getting irradiated, but nothing I can do about it now. Back and still going to be irradiated, so I'm just going to have to take it. And, uh, cure my radiation when I get back in. This base up here will be a bandit slash mercenary den of thieves until uh, a good place to go for loot runs until. Uh, the, the stalker uh, beard quest lines. So we're gonna save here. I might. I'm. I should not have gone out so early. I forgot about that. But I'm sneaking here. There's generally two good ways of getting in here. This is the game's recommended path uh, that goes along with the stalker uh, interrupting the sale between. Uh, Mer 
Orcs and or Bandits and uh, Duty. Kind of closed right now for indoor stuff, so I can't do too much, and I don't have a reliable weaponry, so um, let's see how this goes. Let's see if there's anybody in here. If there isn't, then we'll just take our loots from this area, our stashes. can't barely see anything. Oh, there is a guy right there. Prisoners. I do want people to surrender to me because I get free guns that are 100%. Ouch. I'm gonna die here. Some sort of, or guy yeah, has a pretty cool gun there. I should have saved, but I forgot to, which may be beneficial. Nope, still out in the dark. We'll sneak in here. I was reading on the, the Misery Mod DB uh, forum page yesterday. Somebody had talked about repairing the UPD uh, Universal Power Device uh, at Car Court, not Court, Cardian, whatever. Um, and they said it was cheaper than just buying new stuff, and I disagree. Alright, that sucked. He saw me right away. I have one band-aid, so I'm not going to be using it for that unless I'm bleeding out. Let's get ourselves in a position where they can only attack us one direction. I hate being like this, but now we're going to jump out. Grab his gun. Don't see anything? Except when they're highlighted. Which is why I want to have. Um, here, hold on a second here. Let's just. This one. If you really want a really hard thing to do yourself, just then turn down your around here so you can get targets of opportunity other than us. Just us, it looks like. Fall down. Nope. Holy shit. I'm dead. Hmm. Yeah, as with my last let's play, I'm not gonna just like reload if I don't do it perfectly. I'm gonna play through until I die and take whatever hits that I can. 
Oh, this becomes more annoying when you have a helmet where you can actually see stuff because you can then become occluded due to damage to the helmet, which I enjoy as part of this game. It's part of the grindy factor to it. It makes you pay for your mistakes. So, rolling up here. And I got a better microphone from my last series, so I'm not going to be breathing so loudly into it. Which, um, I know some of you have, uh, commented on. And I agree, it's a, uh, a personality fault of mine. Oh, well, if I had a hand grenade. Let's do something silly. How did I not get seen by him? That's... Answer that question with a, uh, let's just get seen by him. God. I am s My reflexes and skills are really low today. It's almost... It's pretty embarrassing. That I'm getting taken out by these bandits, but it's a point of misery. It's to grind and not be cool. All right, so let's not do it stupidly this time. Can't see anybody up in that window yet. That's cool. don't go in on this side because there's that guy by the staircase who can see me and get out of this line of sight very quickly, which, okay, wow, that was a good shot, dying doing the splits, I have bugged. Nope. Change places. Run. I don't know where that hand grenade's coming from, but I know I can't take it. I don't like this because of the windows. Although I did like that. The reason I'm trying aggressively to pick up the guns that they drop is that the NPCs that were fighting loot the bot, loot the guns off the ground from the other bodies, and then they. Uh, don't cough them up when they die themselves. So, okay, got two nice weather things in a row. Okay, cool. That's really good. I got a potential free cool gun here. I don't know 
how many there are here. Here's a med kit. Alright, dude. I'm gonna keep you alive for a second. Oh, I see you with that gun. I feel good about that now. I'm saving that. That was good shit. We go in groups of fours usually. unlucky. That's lucky. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two. Potentially more here. Carefully looting. Except in the early game, I generally always hit the radios up and take those batteries. Okay, so the little damage that I took from them and the radiation are, might just kill me. I think there's some anti-radiation medicine... All right, so now I'll be able to sell all this stuff. I'm going to keep this for a little while because it's a camouflaged gun and it has a high... All right, do I have anything that counteracts? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. And I do have a med kit now. So... We are at 37.9 kilograms. Okay, so let's go around and get the stashes of this place. Did I loot him? I think I did, yeah. Okay. So... Here is where the basic tools are. Right over here. In an earlier version of the game, there's also a stash up there too, so I always like think there's something there. So I'm still a little radiated. Use up some tobacco. Very Russian opinion of stuff. Cigarettes and tobacco save you from the radiation. Nice sunset. I kind of like that with the truck in there. Maybe I'll screenshot that there. Pull out my flashlight. I generally, there is. That is a. Z monolith sign. For a stash. Stash right there. So we get up. Get down over here. Now take your flashlight off. This is where the problem of the assaulter is, is they're not very agile. Okay, got up here. Okay, let's save here. Let's see if we can run across this. Alright, made it. 
I used to go up and over, but now I low crouch and sneak over this way. Getting across here. This is one of Alun's stashes, which is an earlier version of Misery. They had, this was like a big quest thing that they never took off, which I'm happy they didn't, because there's some cool stash rewards. Although I am positive that without somebody telling me where these are, I would have never have gotten the clues. I am apparently not that intelligent. Or not intelligent enough to interpret that stuff. So we got two zone built syringes there for uh, med, and we got one bandage. Still doing good. It would be nice if this was a uh, if we got that as not damaged. Oh, that was nice. You usually don't make that jump. Come over to here. Carefully go around the turn. Oh. That is a son of a bitch. More radiation just for me. Punishment. All right, we'll come back for this one. You go all the way around and jump down over there. And there's a stash there. And it's a loon. We got some cool shit. All right, well, it's 22-22. So first thing is not the helmet. It's the UPD, then the helmet. Then the container for an artifact. Let's go down here. Go down here and uh, get some stashes on the way back in this little, I don't know exactly what this equipment is. I'm guessing it's some sort of earth moving equipment. I know that's ballast. I think that's called ballast or counterweight. For the crane. Who's shooting? Can I have some? Probably not, because I am overloaded. Also want to try to go and see Noah early this year, or this time, and so we can actually do something with him. Alright, so the secret to this stash is uh, jump, then go forward on this top part right here. So get up as high as you can here. So you're about like this and then jump, go forward. Jump. Jump. Oh! Fall to uh, sprain your ankles bilaterally. Okay, let's do this again. It's too easy. First time. Okay, got up here. Jump. 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 Squat. Fall a little bit. Scare yourself half to death. Jump. Jump. So why don't you do it from this way? Well... I'm a man of my habits. And I originally saw the person do it from the other side. I honestly never done it from this side, so let's see. If this works. It's not working so far. Oh. Call me a liar. Alright. The 
higher you get on it, the less likely you're to fall off. This stash is really good because this is your first antibiotic. And um, this is your Jetta get out of jail free card epinephrine. I think that's what it is. I'll have to reread it again. I think there was an R in there that I didn't pronounce. I've I've got this stash a couple different ways. I'm gonna save. Is that they're shooting from the boat? If they're shooting from the boat, they're just shooting at mutants and I'm not that big into it. But okay, got up. Ugh. I can just imagine the colonel's mother going, "Stop! You'll break your neck." And then this one. Just kind of lean over, do your lean thing to get it. Because it's di really difficult. I found it to be really difficult to get in there. If you, however, have been able to do that without any problem, you, sir or madam, are a champion. Okay, so we've got a pretty good collection of stuff here. We'll be able to sell. Okay. We'll be able to sell a good mo a bone of this, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go back and drop stuff off. If I can take something for that radiation. Because, uh. Us being a big boy that we are, we, uh, absorb radiation. that. Got distracted by a couple of things. Let's get back in here. What time is it? 23.15. So we still got... Здравствуй, Стал. Ну, здорово. Какими судьбами на нашу посудину? It's about over here, so... Actually, I wasn't going to trade. Um, I think this is a good place to break off the episode, and uh, we'll carry on from here after I unload everything, and we'll go back out for some more uh, fun out in the zone. Uh, this is John Q. Dave of Public signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate all the uh, comments and subscriptions and views. So thank you so much for your time. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.